Alrighty, time for some more God Willamity the where we uh no Kawalamality. Now what I wanna do is I wanna see if I can actually do a build for that. Now uh If you don't know, I oh god I just killed the birdie. If you don't know, I am horrible at building in any sort of game. Whether it be Minecraft or this game or any sort of crafting game in general, I suck at building. But it's one of the reasons why I play Terraria more than Calamity. Wait, Terraria more than Minecraft, I mean. You know, like, you could, I've seen like such cool stuff that people have made in Terraria. So, uh, but I'm gonna I'm 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 see what I can do. Alrighty. Uh, cool. Why is it spawn up there? Oh god! It's a sick music. Okay, oh god. Oh god. Yeah, he's easy. Oh god. Easy peasy. Took him out right quick. Was it even oh no, you could find him again. Oh I I, I like that, I like that. I mean so that the boss spawn items aren't consumed. Caroline relic. Treasure bag. Let's see what you give me. Glowing uh, mushroom plasma roots permanently increases the duration of rage mode by one second. Angry fungal clump. Ruthless puff shroom. Ooh. Not stronger. Nasty hyphy rod. Alrighty. The hive mine or the perforators. That's the next boss I gotta fight. I guess I could just try to fight the hive mine right now. Honestly, I think I could. I could. I could, I could take him. I could take him. Hey. Oh, the music. Oh, God. Oh, they have. They drop like random. They drop like clouds or something when I kill them. Take a longest time to kill, but at least it's not that hard. Okay, now it's in the second phase. Oh, double? Rage and adrenaline? Okay, I got back to my arena. Okay, it's getting faster. Did we get adrenaline again? What is that heart there? Oh god! I don't want that- oh, it just randomly throws a projectile at me. That's what the dark part is doing. Well, it stays a certain away from me. A certain, like, distance away from me. So it's annoying to take out. Oh god. It doesn't have that much health. Oh, but just so much damage. Oh god! I can't go anywhere over there. Oh, it's almost dead! That's it.
Do I die? Oh god. I ready. There you go. God damn. That's doing so much damage to me. Can you go away? That thing's still alive? Oh, should they get the Krabulon thing? Does Krabulon even have one? What do you have? Rotten Brain increases damage when below 75% health. 5% decrease wind speed when below 50% life. Shade rains down when you are hit. Ooh. Hasty Filthy Glove. Rogue Rogue. Summon. Think Staff. Magic. Rotten Matter. Demon Eye Bar. Let's see what you have to say, High Mind. Some semblance of a god's mind may survive death, much like the twitches of a crushed insect. What little remains attempts to convene and coalesce in worship. A desperate attempt that its, that its power may yet be restored. How pitiful. Fortunately for us, the futility of this effort is unmatched. The biomass obeys, even though nothing is accomplished. Far from all divine power flows from faith. A god is forged of its own strength. Followers then may choose to worship them. I want to hear the lore book, Krabulon. Alright, got it. This is the Krabulon lore. Fungus and a sea crab. One sought a host, the other a new home. These mushrooms possess a disturbing amount of tenacity. Nothing that lays down to die in their domain is left to rest. It is this sort of ghastly, forceful exertion of control over the unwilling that led me down my path. Oh, damn. Maybe not. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. I want to put. I don't want to have rich mahogany as the main thing of this. I want to have rich wood. I guess like a support beam it could be. Or not support beam. Like yeah. Maybe this top up here be mahogany. And then the other parts be regular wood. I like the way how that looks way better. Let's see how it looks like painted brown. Ooh, I like the way that looks way better. It looks more like logs, you know? Ooh, that shade wood looks good. We do that. Can these zombies? I'm trying to interior decorate. You can't just leave me alone. Can I paint them too? Oh, I need a roller to paint, right? There you go, brown. Okay, it looks looks pretty good. It works better. I could do something like this. As like support beam on the side. I'll do this one over here maybe. Look at that. I think this one I make a little bit bigger. Ready. Heck yeah, I think this came across came came uh came up pretty good. For our first actual house. It's not I mean it's still a little bit rectangle, but I mean it's not like like just uh like like it's not like this. See, it's not like this at least. See? I think I did a pretty good job.
if I do say so to myself. Looks all nice. Is it even suitable for housing? Let's see though. Missing a chair. Ooh. Look at that. Charging stations. It's always good to have a bunch of those, I'll be honest. Break you. Never realized how easy it was to take these things out, actually. I always like dreaded going to these places because I'd be like, oh man, he's gonna have to I'm gonna have to face the turrets. They're not that hard to take out. Literally you just put a block in front of them. And it's fine. That's a whole lot of shit. Green seeking mechanism moves swiftly towards a lab in the jungle. Oh yeah. Do we just play any mysterious uh air bag? Oh yeah. Oh, planters. Look at all this stuff, damn. More gravitation potions. Low low orbit study log. Encrypted schematic. There's a code breaker with a basic decryption computer. Prototype plasma drive core. Green seek another one, the young ones. The more planters. What are you though? Apparent danger while researching serves only to enhance the research experience. About uh, the low orbit, I guess. High above even the sky islands upheaved long ago lies a fascinating geological phenomenon. Though unlike the islands, their airborne nature appears to have more formed more naturally. I speculate that they formed long ago when the world was in its infancy judging by soil samples I have taken while testing high atmosphere plant growth. Perhaps these planetoids, as many refer to them as, formed via meteor strikes losing matter high into the atmosphere. This would simultaneously explain many geological oddities I have found on the world's surface. Travel between worlds is a fascination of mine. The planets within reasonable distance to this provide no use to me in terms of materials or study opportunities they could provide, and so I wish to go further beyond this mere cluster of planets someday. It will likely take many more decades of technological progress, however, as travel between worlds would take years even at the maximum speed physical matter can currently go. Perhaps I will find a way to shatter this limit once this world holds my interest no longer. A request from Yarim has been delivered. An inquiry to create a suit of armor for the serpent that has joined his forces recently. The devourer of gods, as the serpent calls himself. It's a bothersome yet fascinating being, and so I have taken the opportunity that I may learn more of his home dimension. Using materials from his place of origin, I have forged armor of immense size and durability yet extreme flexibility. It is certainly one of my most unique materials I have worked with and has advanced my knowledge greatly. Though I have learned more than I expected to about the cosmic beast from this, perhaps more than he wished for me too. Oh boy. <coughs> that was like another hive up here. Hey look at Bezor. Bezor. Gotta be Bezor. Sword place. Oh god, I haven't found the the Crimson Floating Island. I know, there, at least there used to be the Crimson Floating Island. Like, well, the opposite, like, evil. Like, if you had, like, the corruption, there would be an island where it's the Crimson. Oh, well, speak of the devil. I think this is it. No, this isn't. This is like a, what the hell is this? Oh, yeah, it is. It's a corruption. What's all this though? Area light ore. Would be able to get this this early?
Yeah, it's Crimson anymore. So I think, I think I gotta, I'm gonna end it off here a little bit early. I wanna, I wanna research more into actually building stuff because I wanna build, build off of this also. I wanna create like another, another room up here, up top, and then create more places over here, over here, and then maybe one right here. I don't know if I want to do that off stream or on stream. Cause I don't know if this building will be that good on stream. Especially with me, cause I get kind of silent when I start building. I'm just like, you know, just focusing on the build. But yeah, tomorrow we're going to start a new game. I think I decided that I'm just not going to, that I'm, that I'm finished with Dark Siders 2 because the other DLC seems like they're the same thing where it's just like one area, one dungeon, and then you're done. So tomorrow we're going to be starting Tevi and Tevi is the next game by the people who made Rabby Ribby. Remember me playing that. Well, so I'm excited for that, but yes. Thank you everybody for watching. Let's see you all next time. Goodbye.